Yes, I will. Zero. Feet on the floor. Stretch in the weight room 20 minutes. We're gonna check weight. Brush your teeth. Wipe the sleep out your eyes, Rhett. There you go. There you go. Juice! Let's get it, baby. Let's go. I've been up for an hour. My mat was not comfortable. I'm gonna go with this is my 21st year. So 21 years. I came in 04, first year, and that was the last year under Coach Wood. 12 under uh, Jess, um, then, then two years in between me, me taking over as a head coach. It's a special place in a bunch of different ways. Every guy that's coached here knows the difference of being here and anywhere else. I was here, I was in my family for two years before I came here. I've just been a couple different places, college, played in the Cav County. But it's special and you're, you're held to a different regard around here. And, and you're probably the envy of most people because, you know, as much as they hate us, they, they, they would love to trade places with us. I throw that at my friends all the time because they talk about all these things and what we get and all this stuff. But, you know, and in the same breath, they say, I'll trade places with you real quick. Coach, you're going to come through this field all weekend long trying to figure out who really wants to see the rep next week. We got to go down at some point. We got to figure out who the top two or three guys in this position and go from there. That's my challenge to you. If you need, you need the top two or three, find your way to the top two or three tonight. I'll make a play. If you don't make a play, I'll get sick. If you don't make a play, I'll get nervous. You ain't going to make a play by waiting on somebody else to hit somebody to get me too stuck. You better find a way to juice yourself up. You there's so many. Is everybody saying? Sure. They show up here. Their coach asked for this. To get their ass up. You know what I'm saying? They ask us to get done to scrimmage them to make them better. I ain't worried about them. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about what you think about yourself walking out the door and say against all these people. And you've told them to change, change a lot of times. I can never see uh, the fan face and the guys going around to see you, the little kids that see you in a jersey and a fever pitch like they are right now. They can't wait to see all the fan feet. I hate it. 
Let's go on dance show tonight. Let's go. We want to be the most physical team on the field every Friday night. Um, you know, we're, we're attention to detail and everything, whether it's running the ball, throwing the ball, stopping the run, stopping the pass, or snapping and kicking on special teams. And we've always had a chance to be be good at those things. And, you know, it, it comes and goes. It's, it's the ebb and flow of high school sports. Like, who graduates and you're trying to replace them with? Are they young? Are they old? Um, but, you know, luckily, special teams have been a hedgehog for us for years. We've always had good kickers, always had good snappers. You know, we would try to, try to you know, mold those guys early. I mean, even in, you know, Little League, we're, we're spotting those guys out. Um, but physicality is the number one deal, and the attention to detail of how we do everything else kind of brings it all together. Mill Creek was pretty. Mill Creek was the most intense. There was one game where Ab went in there, and uh, like on a Friday in Chapel, when you went up there, he was like, I may have to say no. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Davis talking? No, it was Ab. I don't know. Davis was Mill Creek. Davis was Mill Creek. Davis was Mill Creek. Oh my God, I do remember that. Chapel. Like a Friday. Who did it go? Chapel. It was September. I don't know. The Lakers were there. Yeah, they 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 were
it's one of those that just like the game of football, just like sports, everything's evolving, but you still have your base foundations of what you go back to. And, um, you know, I learned a whole lot from him. So a lot of stuff I do is very similar to what he did. But I think you just, you continue to grow. And the more knowledge you have, the better you're going to help your kids out and your players out. And so you still have your base fundamentals of what you do in the weight room or what you do defensively. But you have to change and evolve with the time and with the athlete. The athlete today is different than the athlete of you know 15, 20 years ago. And so you have to evolve with your athletes to help them out to be successful. You can't get stuck doing the same thing just because it worked in the past. You know, it's always evolving and finding new ways to gain that edge um, on the competition. We pride ourselves on being hard-nosed and we want to stop the run. Um, we're going to give you multiple fronts, but we're not going to do so much stuff that we confuse ourselves. We want to be multiple, but still be able to focus on certain schemes that allow our kids to play fast. Um, we want to be physical at all the different levels, whether it be on the outside of the perimeter, definitely up front. Um, you know, the line of scrimmage here at Buford's been a big deal for a long time. We find ourselves defensively that it all starts with those dudes up front. And then um, we can just fix and work our way back as we move back. Um, but being hard-nosed, being violent, being physical, running to the football um, is really what we pride ourselves on. You know, a lot of times when you're in one place, you know, it, it was good for me to get out and learn a lot. And then, um, you know, Buford is home. And it always will be home and just an opportunity to come back and be back with that and somebody you know, who was really a mentor for me and get to work with him again was, it was a no-brainer for me. Good day, you know what the task is. We, we gotta get we gotta get control over the next couple days. First things first, get this ice bath. That's everybody in the program. Ain't nobody going in there. All right? Everybody. We check you off, all right? Then second, go to sleep. Is everybody saying that? Should be an issue you use this. Let's make sure we take care of ourselves. Go home, don't do nothing stupid. Do your homework and get your ass in the bed. Any questions? Yes, Seniors are going first. Look, we got both. Both uh, locker rooms ready to roll. Make sure you have a shirt on because there's, there's people all over the building. But I got seniors in both of them. And after that, I'm going to let everybody go. Coaches, I'm printing out uh, the roster here in a second to check them off. Any questions? Right. Family on three. Two, three. Hey. So, man, how you feeling? Man, I'm good. Great. So, ready for this weekend. Finna get after St. Francis. St. Francis, you know, it, it starts with their trigger man, this kid, the five-star committed to Oregon. Um, just being able to, you know, give him different looks and, and finding ways. They, they got skill kids on the perimeter. They got the, you know, the top running backs, um, big tight ends, and they're big up front. Um, you tell they're very well coached and that they're very efficient with what they do and just finding ways to try and get them off schedule and finding, you know, 
play, hopefully play to our strengths and give them some issues with what we do well and, you know, try and just, if we can win the line of scrimmage and then fix it with the back end and give them some different issues on the back end that hopefully, you know, it will work our way. St. Francis is a tough football team. plays probably the hardest schedule in America. Um, they're, they're electric on, on with athletes. And they're, they're big up front on both sides of the ball. I think their hedgehogs are defensive line play. They, they play really good on defense and, and a really physical brand of football. Um, so we just got to slow them down and you know, not let them big play us to death and, and, and match their physicality on each new play. Understand that? I wish it was a little bit better time, but I do believe y'all are ready to do something special tomorrow. But it's going to take a full effort. It's going to take physicality for the whole damn game to, to get this thing done. They ain't going to get one rip about time, Ryan. They're going to get one rip about to go with Elvin. They're not going to care about you as a person. They coming in the, the, the wreck shop and, and, and they keep their name where they think it is right now. Does everybody understand me? So you, you do what you need to do to be ready to play a full 48 minute game. Physical, uh, taking care of the ball. You know, not doing stupid stuff to get us behind the sticks, anything like that. We we need to be smart tomorrow, but we need to play beautiful football. Any, any questions on that? Yes, Bring it out. Hey, come ready. Hey, listen up. Stop talking. Hey, let's get it. Hey, play my three. Play my three. Shoot three. Shoot three. From Buford High School in Buford, Georgia, it is the 2023 Prep Gridiron Games. St. Francis, number six in the country, against number 10, Buford High School. We are looking forward to a special treat tonight. You see the sellout crowd. There's going to be a lot of folks here today, and it's going to be a lot of fun as a couple of teams who only lost on their final game of the season. And this is the first game of the season. To the end zone. Pass on the right side is incomplete. They're down in a couple. Here's the rush, and that's going to be a little pass over the middle, and that gets to the 30, and that is going to be good enough for a first down. He's a good job to get to his right side. Second down and Here's a pass down the right sideline, and this is going to be for broken and complete. 
an incomplete pass, double coverage down the right sideline, and that will bring up a third down. Noah back to pass, being rushed, he throws it down the left side, that's going to be an incompletion, and that will bring up a fourth down, this goes on at the 19, and that is where the substance is going to be factors.
That was an outstanding defensive play by Buford. Montrez Walker again, 6'1", 220, junior. Just a guy who has a lot of attack. I believe that was Peyton Wilson who had uh, carry. Second down. And long off the pass is Van Buren. And that isn't going to go for much. In fact, it's a loss. Good defense again. Throws it down the left side, and that is a catch, and that goes across the 40. Six yards on that play. Here's the pressure again, and you get the quarterback. St. Francis player, possibly, and if they did, it's going to be Buford ball. It is Buford's ball. Wow, they got the ball on the tournament. Great play by St. Francis, not so fast. Third and six, there's a little flip, and that's a beauty that goes out of the backfield and still on a speed inside the 10, and that was outstanding ball maneuverability by Mr. Kobe Blackwell again. Justin Baker back in the backfield now to the left of Rayola. 
He lined up originally as a receiver, so he's a dual threat. And a play action, a little flip toward the end zone. That is a dart into the end zone. Beauty to K.J. Bolden. Touchdown, Buford. Wow. That is a college throw. He just led his receiver, K.J. Bolden, into the smallest window you can possibly find. Wow, that was impressive. A little arc wheel action right there. Oh, this is it's going to go to the one. It actually it was a deeper pick than I thought it was going to be, and this is going to be trouble. And this is going to be another case of poor field position. That's the four. And number 24, Nasir McCoy on the stop. Under center now, the quarterback. Beautiful bit of defense. Jaden Perlotti. This is a guy that Brian Affleck was just ranting and raving about last year. This is the guy who has to play. We talked about him as a Jordan Smith. He's always had his neighbors to the gym. He's in there so short field, so Buford just taking advantage of what St. Francis gives them, and St. Francis making it just difficult to do anything. Van Buren, he's being rushed, he throws in a hurry down the left side, that is a catch, and that is going to go all the way to the end zone, how do you do a touchdown for St. Francis?
Over and the pass complete, and that goes inside the 25 and down to about the 21. So that was a good play. And this is a run that keeps on going and found his way to the six yard line close to the first down marker. That was literally something out of nothing. It's a rush, and that is going to be a big sack by Buford. What a play. And it's looking like he might be shaken up, but now he's getting up. Nicholas Maggio. Nico Maggio. And once again, big body that can run, holds it up in the middle. Look what he just did. Right like now from 42. And the kick is blocked at the line. Big play there by Buford. We've been saying that all lot tonight for this defense as Ty White comes up with a big defensive play. Another special teams play by Buford. Lola now. Good field position. He's going to lock it down the right side. And that stayed up in the air, and the flag's going to be thrown. Trying to go back to get the ball, trying to get the pick. Jetting to the left side, the running back. That's Blackwell, and he gets inside the 40. Big burst of speed for Kobe Blackwell. over the middle and that is a catch by Jordan Allen and Allen will get inside the 35 to about the 31. That's one of their favorite plays by Dylan Riolo Brandon. Uh, just a quick hitter. He just goes back barely one step and throws over the middle and that pair has really got some This is 
across the 40 to the 45, still on his feet to midfield, and all the way to the 37-yard line. What a play there.
and finish is the Dietrich Keating Angels. Still 15 to nothing. Rayola being rushed to his right. Throws it on the right side. That is incomplete. Personal foul. And St. Francis. Side up for grabs incomplete. Oh, right Hand off, and nothing simple about this run as Blackwell will get to the outside. The defense ended up making a nice play. I thought he was going to get about 10 to 15 out of that on the first break, but that defense closed the hole quickly. Another run. Stuffed at the line, and that's going to be a loss of a couple. And he's going to lose. Kobe Blackwell. That's going to be a complete. He brings his two in. A catch, beautiful catch by Jordan Allen. What a tear! Just knows how to get it done. And Allen's shaking up just a tad. Here's a field that goes to Blackwell. They snuck out Blackwell. There's the last screen. The blitz, he's hit as he throws, he throws the right side, and that is up the ladder. And as he inbounds, that's the only question. If he's inbounds, what a catch. Devin Williams comes down with the catch, and yes, he was inbounds. away from one, gets away from two, he's going to go forward, he actually runs forward, first run of the game that we've seen is running forward, but he got something out of nothing on that one. Quick pass on the right side, that's a catch by Allen. We will help stop in his tracks. This will be a 31 yard attempt out of the hold of Sam Harkness. Kick line drives and just goes through.